Okay, so we're bringing you a beginners, an intermediate, and an advanced workout. This is the advanced workout. This is where the big dogs roll. This is where I'm at. If you're not at this level yet, do not worry. You are going to be here real soon. If you keep going at the level you're at and keep pushing yourself, keep banging out another rep every now and then, you will be here. But for those of you that are with me, are you ready? This is going to be tough. We're going to push ourselves three rounds, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, four exercises. Let's do it. 10 seconds. Oh God. I'm dead. So first exercise, I used a bit of weight to really advance this move, I would suggest you do the same. Not a lot, mine's about one and a half pounds on each arm, but it really pushes. So if you've got a dumbbell or any bottles of water, get them. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to start by hugging your knees, one star jump. To the floor, jump to one side, jump to the centre, jump to the opposite side, to the centre, and then one push up, that's one rep, and then you're going to come back to your hugging of your knees, ready for your star jump, okay, so that's your first exercise, push as hard as you can, okay, so next exercise, hanging knee raises, so on your pull up bar, get yourself a chair, so every time you go round, your form is spot on, hang yourself with good form, if you touch the floor, it makes it a little bit easier, if you don't, it's a lot more advanced, go over the chair, back to the center, go over the chair, back to the center, try not to swing, that is your next exercise. Okay, next exercise is a pull up with a knee lift, are we ready? Grip yourself in a nice strong core, good position, slight bend in your elbows, lift up, then lift your knee, take it back down, always control it, lift up, lift the knee, take it back down, if you need to touch the floor, you can do, or if you need to use a chair to help you lift up, just while you're getting used to pull-ups because they're really advanced, then do that. You saw that I had to go on my third round, I had to use my chair. So don't be afraid, just do as many as you can. And if you need to go down a level, just do it. You'll get better. You Once you know, you're getting stronger, I won't need the chair. You won't need the chair. That's how it works. You have to work up to these to get better. Okay? Okay, your last exercise, step ups. This is really high. I've made it really high to push myself. <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself anyway. <laughs> I actually stepped on it and went, ooh, that's a bit high. Oh well, that's that then. So grab your, grab your sandbag in front of you. If you want to put it behind you, you can, but you won't be able to do the press. So I would recommend that you put it here. So make sure you've got a good distance from your box. If you're too far away, you're gonna have some injuries, so nice and close. Step up, good position, lift the bag, bring it back down, step back with the same leg, change legs. Step up, step back.
back down. You're going to do that for 50 seconds. Obviously, the heavier your bag, the harder that's going to be. If you want to take the bag away halfway through, that's fine. Just keep going, keep pushing, keep working as hard as you can. That's it. Four exercises. Super tough. Give it a go. Write down your scores. Have a look at the intermediate video. See if you can mix the two together to push yourself if you're in that in-between bracket. That's absolutely fine. Let me know what you did. Let me know what your scores are. And I will see you for ab bonuses in a minute. Are you ready? Let's go. Abs, 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 abs. Okay, so these are your advanced ab and core exercises. Please don't do this unless you are advanced. It's super tough. Are you ready? You're going to do this one twice. So set your timer. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. You're going to do three exercises. This is your first one. Make sure that your trainers are clean because you do need your trainers and I don't want people complaining that you've put marks up the wall, okay? The only thing I want on that wall is sweat marks. So let's go. Are you ready? So walk up the wall as far as you can and then you're going to walk back down very slowly. Get to the bottom, one press up. That's one rep. You're going to do that again. <laughs> and leave some sweat marks on the wall <laughs> okay that's how you know you've got close enough so that's one rep if you can only go a little way up the wall that's absolutely fine go as far as you feel comfortable you shouldn't feel it in your back your core should be tight your second exercise you're going to use the wall again put your feet against the wall so if you not if your core isn't tight and you're not pushing against this wall you're going to fall so your core's engaged the whole time you're going to bring your leg in and then the same leg, out to the side, bring it in, same leg, out to the side, bring it in, okay, 50 seconds, and then you're going to repeat the wall one again for your third time, that is going to really push you, so let me know how many reps you did, let me know how sweaty your wall was, take some pictures, post it on my Facebook, I want to see them sweat marks, and that's it. Have a good weekend and I will see you for the fit test on Monday where you are going to smash your original scores. I hope that you love this. I loved it. I love advanced. So have a good weekend. See you next week. Bye.